Well, hello, boys and girls. I'd like to introduce you to my cute little Misty. I'm just checking out if they need some more food, but isn't she cute? Have a look at her. She's a little dwarf bunny. Oh, she's so tiny. She's actually fully grown. I'm going to let her go because she's had enough of me holding her. But as I'm looking into the food part of the cage over there, I'm seeing I'm probably going to have to grate some more carrot. And I see I probably have to, have to top up the water and maybe they need a few more treats. And sometimes I wish that I could just snap my fingers like that and my bunnies would be fed. Wouldn't that be amazing if we could just snap our fingers and things could happen, hey? Well, guys, let me tell you, in the Bible story we have today, in the book of Kings, God does these miracles. It's as if he snaps his fingers and he does these miraculous things all to show that he is the ultimate God. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a history here. So we go back into the into Israel and Israel has got has divided into these two groups of people. And these two groups of people are at war against each other. They're constantly fighting. They have not kept God as their number one. And um, there's a guy called King Ahab and he is causing a lot of problems. And so God decides that it is time to tell these people that he needs them to listen to him. So he calls this guy called Elijah, who's a prophet. And Elijah was going to go and tell these Israelites it was time to start listening to God. So that's where our story um, is set. And we're going to see what happens in our story today. And so we're actually going to start a four-part series with today being the first one in a few things that happens to Elijah. But are we going to cross over to Finn? Because Finn's just going to help us understand what are we thinking about over the next month. So Finn, tell us what you have for us. The big question this month is, how many gods are there? We know the answer to this. There's only one true God. And in today's story, we're going to jump into the book of 1 Kings and we're going to see how God did three incredible miracles by using Elijah. He sent Elijah to King Ahab to tell him that God was going to send a drought until those people started listening to him. He wanted those people to learn that their sin had consequences. So, off God sends Elijah to King Ahab. He gives that message. But God sends Elijah to a stream. And there God looked after Elijah by providing food in the form of meat and bread by ravens, ravens are birds that delivered this food to him. So as long as Elijah lived at that stream, he was looked after. And God looked after Elijah like that until the stream dried up. That was a miracle that God did. Well, when that stream dried up, God sent Elijah to a small town and there would be a widow waiting for him who was going to look after him. So off he goes to a small town and he meets this lady at the gate. And Elijah asks her for some bread. And she says, oh, I only have enough flour and oil to make one loaf of bread. And so Elijah says, go and do that. Make me that one loaf of bread. And God says, you will not run out of flour and of oil until he sends rain. God is going to look after Elijah and that woman who also had a son just out of interest. He was going to look after them until he sent rain. Once again, that was the second miracle that God did. Well, one day, something quite hectic happened and this woman's son died. And she was desperate for his son to come to life again. And she said to Elijah, ask God to do a miracle. And so God, Elijah cried out to God and said, God, heal the son. Heal this woman's child. And you know what? God brought that widow's son back to life. That's incredible. He did a third miracle. Wow, isn't this just an amazing story of God's power? Just God showing that he is the only God. You know, God sent Elijah to that widow to bring food and life. Now, Jesus is greater than Elijah. And he frees us from sin, from the things that we do wrong. He helps us every single day. And he gives us life forever, which is called eternity. God does these incredible things 
to show that he is the only God. Guys, as I've listened to the story again, I just think, isn't reading the Bible just so cool? Auntie Colleen, what do you think about reading the Bible? Hello everyone. I want to tell you why I love reading my Bible. I love reading my Bible because it is God's Word. And when I read my Bible, then I learn more about God. And the more I know about God, the more I love Him. That's why I love reading my Bible. Well, thanks Auntie Colleen for reminding us how good it is to read the Bible. So guys, before I sign off, you can see I'm about to play with my bunny. This is Toffee, by the way. I want to remind you to look out for our Truth Challenge on the WhatsApp flyer. We'll be, we're still reading the book of Mark and we're learning that verse about hiding God's word in, in our hearts. So be sure to tune in next time where we continue with our story with Elijah and um, enjoy the truth challenge. Bye for now.